to be successful as a freelancer or indie developer, you should play video games. I'm getting this one. I'm doing freelancing and indie app development for about five years already, so let's talk about five things I would like to know when I started. First one I will say, do not buy things that you don't really need when you're starting. Save the money. For example, if you would like to create content that I highly recommend to market your business, market your products, all that stuff, you don't need fancy camera, fancy microphones, whatever. You can record everything on iPhone. I'm using iPhone right now. Exactly the same thing about computer. On the beginning of my career as freelancer, I wasn't big spender. I used actually I used this MacBook Air. It is 2013 MacBook Air with four gigabytes of RAM. Don't be jealous. Those nice stickers are not mine. Those are my daughter's. She is owning it and using it now. But yeah, I used this MacBook for many years. But <laughs> when I dropped my corporate job, I lost corporate car and I had to buy a car and I spent almost all money I had on Volvo XN90, whatever, basically I bought a car. And yeah, even I had few freelance jobs in a line, I started to live basically freelance job to freelance job. Basically I had to worry about each invoice every month and that wasn't a great feeling. So <laughs> spend as less as possible. And yeah, I realized that this probably sounds a little bit controversial. I'm talking about saving and using multiple computers in my setup and getting new toy, all that stuff. I'm not saying save forever, you know. I was, um, it was kind of hard for me to spend money on beginning. I used my um, MacBook Air for a while, then I upgraded to 13 inch MacBook Pro, but base model, used that forever. <laughs> and that took a long time and I kind of started to realize that is gear which makes money, you know, and feeds our family. And if this machine is faster, better, and I can work are faster as well, so that just makes sense to invest money in that. Do not take this as accountant advice. Talk with accountant in your own country where are you living. Uh, limitations, requirements, law, every, everywhere is different. But basically, if you are working as employee and getting your salary, your salary from your salary you already have tax deducted, and you are paying income tax on the salary, usually. Let's talk about Europe. I'm in Europe, that works so here. If you are working as self-employed, as freelancer or indie developer, so money in your bank is still not your money, but company's money. And if you are buying new iPhone, which you are using for development, that's business expense. If you are buying new monitor, if you are using that for work, that's business expense. Game console, well, if you are streaming and getting money from streams, that's business expense. If you are a YouTuber and you will keep that in background as decoration or will make video about it like I do, that's business expense again. Basically, be kind of smarter about your expenses. When I started freelancing, I just took all the money in my account paid income tax on that money and then started to spend this money. And that wasn't smart move, you know, basically I just overpaid taxes. So do not make that mistake, talk with the content. Okay, let's talk about money a little bit more. If you're buying any gear, I don't know, better camera, something, think how you will make that money back. If you're buying gear for your camera, probably you are going to make some YouTube videos, photos, all that stuff. If you are buying monitor, Obviously, you will be more productive and so on. Basically, just do not spend money for just for sake of spending. If you are kind of thinking about getting into YouTube, that also can be profitable. I was uh, thinking about buying ultra-wide monitor and I was on the fence about that and I spent about 1,200 euros on that monitor. I bought it, I used it for two years and here is, this is that video and if I'm going on revenue of that video, there is 1.3 thousand already earned on ads from that video. Also, I don't know, three or four thousand subscribers. <laughs> don't be tricked, that is most popular video on the channel. I'm not making thousands or even hundreds of uh, 
from each and every video. But that also is a way how to make your money back. In my opinion, that helps a lot if you are kind of thinking about gear what you are planning to buy. Basically, do you really need to spend that money? If yes, okay, then buy it. And if you are buying, then think about how quickly you will get that money back. Will that help you to get better freelance projects? Will that make more money for you? Will you be able to work faster? If none of those check marks doesn't kind of work, so probably skip that upgrade, skip that purchase and better invest that money. And yeah, where to invest and how. Okay, investing, no worries. I'm not going to sell you some magic investing portfolio or something. I know nothing about that. I do not understand about that and I do not care much about that as well. All my money that I have, I'm investing back in my gear, some stock that I just trust for some companies that I trust, some pension funds, stuff like that, you know. But where else I invest my money and what I see the biggest problem was when I started. So when you are just starting and when I started, your monthly revenue is quite low. As I said, I already was working from one project to another. I was paying my bills, I was living fine, but I can't say I had a lot of money to set aside. And that's the problem for most of the beginners, because you just don't have enough money to invest somewhere. And if you even will see some magic in investment opportunity where you can get, I don't know, 10, 20 percent back. OK, if you will invest your, I don't know, 100 bucks, what you will get back 10 bucks, <laughs> 20 bucks in a year. So that doesn't make any sense, you know. I started to invest money in myself and by investing in myself, I mean investing in courses and education. I'm buying courses about YouTube, I'm buying courses about programming, I'm buying courses about business, I'm buying courses about writing, all that stuff. Uh, because, yeah, that is what I'm interested in and I see that it helps me to make more money. So that is investment in myself. And that is something that I really recommend to you. Do not try to save on things where you don't need to save. If you can take course and that course will teach you new skill and that will help you to make new business one more revenue stream, that's great invested money, you know. And yeah, this is a nice place to plug in my own course. I have a course about how to make indie apps if you are interested. You can go through my playlists about indie app development and you can get that information from my YouTube channel for free as well. But if you like to get it as one very intense one hour long course, you can get that as well. And yeah, what's about, what's about gaming? <laughs> Why gaming? Gaming is very important and that is not specifically gaming. Maybe for you that is swimming, hiking, whatever. But we have to have some hobbies. The problem with indie development and problem with freelancing is you never ever will finish all the work. You always have more work to do. For example, I don't know, I start, I finished to work on one of my indie apps. I can jump onto the next and work on that. Or I can add a few more lessons to my published course. Or I can write a few tweets which will lead audience to my course or to my apps, you know. I always have more work to do. When I was working back in office uh, in product management uh, job, yeah, there was longish hours, responsibility for other people, all that stuff. But there was kind of structure in the work, you know. I arrived at the, on the work at 8 and I leaving office at 5 and okay, I had few phone meetings, few phone calls, driving back to home, but generally on night and weekends I didn't think about work. Here I always have something to do. You have to plan time off, otherwise it is kind of easy to burn out and work yourself to the death. Didn't happen it with me, but uh, I see that when my wife is away and there is no clear structure in the day, I'm just working all the hours when I'm awake and that is not good, you know. So I will play the game on the evenings and I will work my regular work days. For you, I highly recommend to put that in calendar, basically plan how much hours per day you are planning to work. So stay safe, hope my suggestions will be helpful. And uh, yeah, see you probably in three, four months when I will finish all those games. <laughs>
I'm kidding. I will be back soon with next video. Bye.